uh, Chris, first of all, just um, talk about uh, last weekend. Um, uh, a, a great win and a, a great game for you personally as well. Yeah, uh, it was a great team win. Uh, I had a good game. I was able to hit some shots. But uh, for overall, we had a good team uh, to be off for a week and come back and play Manchester, no matter who they are. It's a game that we want to win. And we came out. Uh, there's lots of improvement we can make from that game. So we'll take that going further. But it was a good team win. Always a good team on the one side. Yeah, and, and like you say, come back from a break where you've kind of had you know, two narrow back-to-back -back defeats to, to kind of get, get the W again. That must be pleasing sort of psychologically as well. Yeah, it's always good to uh, come back. You know, it's never good to lose, but uh, to come back and uh, get a W after the break that we had, it's always great for the team morale and the confidence of each everybody else. I know for sure, I think so. It was great to get a win, and now is our focus is uh Cup game. Uh, first leg, uh, it's a big big game for us. Uh, they say it's the biggest game of the season for because the Cup is huge, so every game is huge because you want to win every game. So, you know, we just got to maintain our focus, maintain our game plan, and I think we'll be okay. What about the, the Cup game then? Obviously, uh, the, the, the sort of playing two legs, is that something you're used to? Have you kind of played a, a, that kind of situation never, before in Germany? Never, never before, never before in Germany I've ever been in a situation like that. It's always just one game. Unless it's like playoffs or whatever, but uh, I look forward to you know uh, to go there to go there on the road and hopefully come away with a win and be comfortable knowing that the second leg is at our house and we feel very comfortable at home. So right now, my main focus is uh, going down there and taking care of business on Friday. So. Do you approach it like a normal game then? You just kind of focus on, on getting the win and then, oh, and then move absolutely. To the next game? I can't I can't approach it any differently because uh, it's every game's the same for me. You know, the game's a game, cup, trophy, whatever behind us, a game that I want to win. So. And I feel like everybody else should be like that too. They didn't want to win. So at the end of the day, just, just don't, add, don't, don't add the pressure to yourself. Just go out there and perform like you usually do, get, stick to the game plan, and we'll be okay. So. Uh, and another new team for you to face, we'll start, because I don't think you face them yet at, at all, have you? Yeah, no, only in the preseason. You know, and, and in the preseason is different. You don't really throw everything at everybody, you don't show everything. So, uh, new team to face, and it'll be exciting. Yeah, I know uh, Coach James is respected in, in the league. I know they've, they've kind of had mixed fortunes, but they, they kind of got, a few, uh, I think, coming to the game on, on two wins, and, and I think recruits as well in, in terms of Great, Great Britain International in Gilchrist, so they're a, quite a formidable outfit still, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, definitely. Anytime uh, you get a chance to, you're a home team, I feel like you're very confident because you're at home, you're with your fans, and you're, you have your basket, so it's a home court advantage for them, for sure. They come off two good wins. Uh, I don't know who they play, but um, still, like anytime you're at home, you should be confident you feel good, and it's a cup game the first day at home. So I'm pretty sure they're going to come out focused and want to get this win to protect their home court, knowing the second leg is on the road. So. What about playing on the road? Uh, I guess it's something you're used to, but you've kind of gone from like so, you know, so many home games, and then suddenly you've got these kind of road trips back to back in December. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we had a lot of home games to start the season, but now we have these road games, and... Uh, a game's a game no matter where you play it at. It's a road game, it's a home game. Uh, just approach it all the, kind of the same the same focus. Uh, you just get on the road. So, you know, just I never want to game any differently. Every game's the same for me. So. Just for you personally, what it's, what, what's the kind of first few months been like in the BBL? Say again? What's your first few months been like in, in, in the BBL? Oh, it's, it's, it's been a learning. Learning with the refs, uh, teams, the style of play. It fits me. I'm, I'm adjusting to it, I feel like, very well. And just from my experience, and all, I'm enjoying it. I can't, I can't enjoy it. You seem to bring that, uh, you know, veteran quality, but um, uh, just the pace, I think, as far as people, because you're kind of, you know, running rings around some of the kind of younger guys. That, what would you put that down to? Ah, no, I don't, I don't know, man. People are, uh, say all the time, they can't believe my age. I, I don't, there's no secret about it. Uh, just uh, just the dedication to my off-season work that I do, and I know at this age in my career, I know what, what strong, my, my strong suits for me. So, you know, like, you have to learn yourself, learn your game, and, fit into a team and I'm able to, I've been able to do that over the last few years of my career so that's how I've been able to maintain and, and continue to do that so hopefully I'll just continue to do the same things for me so I know you won so trophy you know silverware and promotions um, elsewhere in Europe but uh, in terms of your goals for, for the BBL is uh, are any particular sort of goals you've set yourself since you've joined you've come here nothing personally all when everything is possible uh, I mean, I feel like I uh, echo what Coach says. You want to win everything, and that's my goal. Just come here with everything. If it's a trophy, if it's a cup, if it's a playoff, it's a rookie season game, I kind of want to win every game. I, I, I just want to win. I, I hate to lose. I'm a competitor. That's one thing about me. Doesn't matter if they kick ball, soccer, I want to win. So that's all it is. I don't I just want to win.
And what about the, the, your, your teammates this season? Obviously, um, it's, uh, you know, there's, a, there's a sort of a mix of some of the, the, the main guys coming back, but a couple of new guys as well. But how, how have you, you sort of felt the, the kind of chemistry of this, this, this team I feel this like the, I feel like the team is very unselfish. Uh, for many teams I've played on, uh, I feel like my team is very, very unselfish. So it's like, uh, I feel like the chemistry is great with everybody. I feel like everybody gets along with everybody on and off the court. And you don't get that a lot of times with some teams. But with this team, I feel like the word is very unselfish. Like, well, I feel like if we see an open man, it's not like we look them off or anything. It's like... I feel like we all make good basketball plays. I feel like we have a team that's all capable of scoring and everybody kind of fits their role into the team. So I think, I think that makes our team balance really, really good. I think that's a kind of interesting uh, facet of the team this season, isn't it? The fact that on, on every given day, it could be another play. Exactly, exactly. And that's, that's the thing I feel like, when we, and I preach it and I say it all the time, at any given time, we can have somebody, we don't have to have the same leading score. We don't have to at all. Because we have so many guys that can score so many different ways. It just depends on the game and the pace of it and what the other team gives us. So we have many options offensively. It's just as long as we come in with our defensive plan, game plan, just to do that, I feel like we're fine. What about this month of December then? How key is this one? Because you've got uh, your cup game, you know, and then sort of, I think it's like six games in total. Yeah, so how, uh, how key is December? Yeah, every, every game is uh, very important. <laughs> Big and important for us because we want to win them all. But this uh, this December we have a lot of tough games, or cup game, trophy games, qualification games, and things that. I mean, you know, we should have to approach it one day at a time, and hopefully that we're on the winning side of all those, and that's what we want to do. You know, so it's a tough month, but I'm pretty sure that we're built for it, and coach is gonna prepare us, and we'll be well prepared for each game. So I like our chances. Great stuff.